Hello all. Hi. How are you? Uh, it's Tuesday, I think. <laughs> this is an impromptu live stream. I just had so many comments about this little phone stand hack that I thought it would be super fun to make one with you live here on YouTube. So Monique Renee here, a photographer at Silverpaw Studio, and welcome to the green room, which is my home office. And on this channel and in my Silverpaw Studio business, I empower you to tell all of your tales with tales through photography and videography. I bet you all wish you had another phone stand at this point. Something to prop your phone up in to watch a movie or uh, catch up on YouTube or write an Instagram post or most importantly to video chat with people. Does your is your arm getting tired from doing this all the time and you can't find quite the right spot and then you have to move and how do you get everyone in the picture, right? And if you're like me, you have at least one phone stand. But if there's several of you home right now that are all fighting over that stand, wouldn't it be nice to have another one? <laughs> well, let's make one. Now, I showed everybody this on a live stream I did recently that I was guest speaking at. And I also talked about it on my radio show podcast that comes out this week. Hey, Panda. And I've gotten such incredible feedback on this. I thought, oh, goodness, that was the simplest thing I, I said in all of that. But it's pretty fun. Panda, do you have your supplies ready? <laughs> <laughs> what we need for this project is some kind of a marker. It could be a pen, a pencil, doesn't matter. Uh, a pair of scissors or a straight edge. I like scissors, so just, you know, easier. And wait for it, Panda. <laughs> you need empty toilet paper rolls. I really, really hope everybody has some. I think I showed this on my live stream the other day, but I just wanted to make one with you. And this will help you in the project that I have coming out on Friday morning here on YouTube, my produced video. Uh, so I hope you've got your pod your subscribe button and rung that notification bell. So Friday morning when that video drops, you'll be ready with your phone stand. Panda, are you ready? <laughs> yes, you can use these in so many ways, right? Uh, you can obviously also use a paper towel roll that you cut up, but this is just your regular mm, toilet paper rolls. And I super hope everybody has some right now. You probably at least have empties. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take these and make these into a phone stand. Let me show you. Only one roll. Ah, okay. In a couple days, you'll be able to make this. <laughs> you could potentially cut it in half, but I want to show you what the finished piece looks like. I like it to be able to, you are, okay, to have a little bit of room to support your phone. I have the Samsung Galaxy S10, and it's, uh, I think it's a teeny bit smaller than the newest iPhone. It's kind of like the same size as a lot of them right now. Uh, so this is how big my phone is. And I always have this case on it. So you want to keep that in mind. Okay. And this is what we're going to make kind of. It's a, it's, it, you, can have, you can have some alterations. So this is a different set. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure... We're going to measure how thick our phone is and cut a slot in two of these because then it's stable. If you have one, it's just gonna roll everywhere. Sorry, Panda, but you might be able to make this out of one, especially if you use it without your phone case so it doesn't have to be as thick. So then when you stand your phone on here, it's super, super sturdy. Now, you could put this on a shelf. You can put this on a pile of books. I had an on an upside down vase earlier today for the thumbnail image here. You could take amazing selfies this way. And guess what? It also works this way. What? It works both ways. 
Okay, but the reason I wanted to do a video is to just point out a couple of things that I noticed with this. Uh, first of all, as you can see on this one, I made it exactly 90 degrees, so it was a straight down cut. So when I use this, my phone is exactly straight up and down. Well, you get the idea. So it's straight up and down. What I want to do is have a second one that has an angle to it. So I want to angle my phone so I can either put it this way or the other way, depending on which side I'm using, that kind of thing. So I, yes, right, Panda? I This is so easy. <laughs> Maybe have a paper towel roll somewhere. Um, so what I want to do is have more of an angle to the next one. So I have a little bit more control of my phone going this way or that way. Same for up and down, because sometimes I just, I want to have a video phone call and I, it's not like taking a picture or anything. So if I had set it like this, I can come in and be cooking or moving around. Or if I want to do a little bit angled down showing what I'm cooking, I don't really cook that much. I'm not sure why I'm using this analogy. <laughs> Crafting huh? Um, I do all kinds of things, obviously, with my phone. I take hundreds of pictures. Um, and I'm sure you do too, Panda. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Here's our finished one. Okay. Uh, be, oh, also be thinking of how deep you want it. I wanted mine about mm, halfway through because I want it to be super sturdy. But you might find on yours that it might block a button or something like that. At this point, mine works totally fine. If I have my camera on, let me open up my phone here. If I've got my camera going, <laughs> then can you see this? Hey, you can see you. Here, let's just turn it around. Then you can see my little shutter button. And if this is here, on either side, I still have access to the shutter button, same here. I also set the timer a lot. So if you want a picture that doesn't look like it has, it's three quarters of your arm, you know, for selfie pictures, if you set this down, set the timer and take a picture, oh, portrait mode or live focus mode turns out really good. Um, and then you can show both hands. Uh, so let's see here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Sharpie, blue of course, <laughs> and, what I want to do is take one of the rolls and mark about how thick this is. So this is going to be, and if I'm at an angle, I want to think about how this paper towel, this toilet paper roll can support that weight. So if I think this angle is going to be here, I don't want all the weight going back. So I'm going to pull it forward just a little bit, I think. So let's take that. And we're gonna just draw how thick that is right here. Meep, meep. And I'm not drawing on my phone, it's fine. <laughs> so you can see that's how thick my phone is. Doesn't have to be exact, but you want it kind of snug because it has to be stable. Now these are totally straight, right? So let's make this Let's see, how was I gonna make this? Oh, I was gonna have it angled back like that. So let's make sure that it kind of goes. <laughs> let's math this, oh no. No, not mathing, ah! Let's see, that's a little too far. I'm probably just gonna wing this honestly with my skizzers because this sketch is not working out how I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking here is that in order to lean my phone back, I need to kind of go, right? So it's almost there. Let's try it. I think these are my only two paper towel. And all I do to get this hole started is I squish this a little bit flatter. And there you go. And let's angle that down. I don't know. Let's see if it works. I thought the angling would work, but now that I'm on this card, I'm not sure. Let's choppy chop this thing up, huh? Do, 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 do. If not, you know, I'll think of something else, right? Who's who's good at mathing? <laughs> Panda, hey, Diana. Diana, are you good at mathing? Because what I want is this my phone to be at an angle. Well, that works. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody. That totally worked. Oh, thank you, Diana. Okay, 
so it looks sketch right here. Okay, we'll do it this way because it looks like a smile. <laughs> so it does look kind of weird here, but it's going to work. Look at that angle. That's exactly what I wanted. So now I just have to duplicate that on my other one. Oops, <laughs> my other one. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just pop one inside the other and trace it. What do you think? Can I do that? I don't know. I'm going to. It's down here on my lap. Sorry, everybody. So I'm just poking one through the other so I can just trace onto there. Huh. Huh. Math is special. <laughs> Diana, math is special. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> I feel you, Diana. I'm the same. Okay, that's okay. We're going to freehand this bad boy. Okay, I'm going to get my Sharpie out. Let's see how close we can get this. Okay, so we're going to have this. Can you see what's happening here? This is going to go here, right? And then we're going to go, can you see what I'm doing? Okay. Here, I'll craft with me, everybody. Okay, so that's the general outline, don't you think? <laughs> that these aren't hooked together. So you're just going to move this around, you know, however you feel is right. Let me put my cap back on. And then again, we're just going to squish this down a little bit. Here. Urgh. Ooh, I got it right on the seam. Okay, so that just cuts a teeny bit of a hole in it and I can kind of go down. Okay, and we're gonna do, 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 do. How is everybody doing today? Do you think you'll use something like this? Your, my one roll is mangled. Oh man, <laughs> okay. Oh yes, Panda and Diana, you know each other from the Pet Lovers Tribe days on Periscope. Yeah, Diana's doing great with her YouTube channel. She just passed her thousand members. So she has a community tab now. It's all very exciting. Yes, I'm so excited for Diana. All right, let's get this angle going. Somehow, I don't know everybody. I didn't really think the mathing through on this to be real. Um, but let's just try it and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it's kind of like a smile right here. Okay. So, sorry, you couldn't see all of that craftiness happening. Ah! Okay, now is the big test. Now is the test. Is it going to sit at a slant like I want it to? It sure is. Okay. That's great. My pop socket's in the way a tiny bit. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, Panda, Diana's also in the chat here, and you probably remember her from Periscope Days, but she has an amazing channel about making courses now. Okay, what do you think? What's awesome about doing an angle like this is, again, you could look up, right? You could put your phone this way too, it's fine. Or you could put it where your camera's the other way so you can look down, um, maybe try it, do it on the other side. Yeah, so I've got it at this end, but why, what's stopping me from doing another on this side, right? So maybe that's going to be my up and down side, something like that. We mathed it, everyone. Good job. Okay, so here's my original one. Everything stands straight up and down, which is totally usable. I use this actually kind of a lot. <laughs> totally usable either way, okay? So that's that one. You can make that super easy. That's about... Um, almost half, half width, okay, of the actual roll. And then we have this one, our little smiley faces that we're, um, and if anyone maths better than me, uh, please type it, type it in the comments and then we'll all learn. Thank you. Okay. And so then this one doo -doo -doo, goes like this. That's quite the angle, isn't it? Ah, especially if I'm looking down. So I'm going to use this mostly for looking this way. Okay. Ah, here we go. And it's all at that angle and it's free. You're welcome. There we go. So super DIY on the fly. <laughs> Phone stands. Yeah. It was nice to give a visual. Uh, I was on the radio show the other day trying to explain it verbally. And I think this will really help all of the listeners. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so how, what are we all talking about over here? This is where my um, my comments are. Do 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 do. 
Yeah, <laughs> that would be fitting, Panda, if you made these for your bathroom and you used them in your bathroom and they come from your bathroom. Wow, look at us, so resourceful. <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to tape these together just because, um, I mean, you could, you could totally, you could tape them. You can use a little clamp right here. Um, I do like to have two because then they don't roll. Uh, with this stand, I can watch, <laughs> we can, you can watch our YouTube. Thanks, <laughs> Panda. You're awesome. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I was actually just before this, I was cleaning my kitchen and listening to my audiobook. Um, and before that I was watching, uh, eating lunch and watching a YouTube video with this, even though I have my fancy phone stand right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. I, I'm kind of liking this idea. What do you all think? Do you like this? Are you going to try it? <laughs> and, you know, later on, um, you can use them for dog toys if you're sick of them, right? <laughs> you could put some some food in there and they can just rip them up. <laughs> I think your dogs will like that, Diana. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was 16 minutes. It took me 16 minutes to cut these. <laughs> well, you know, we're chit-chatting. We're friendly. I hope you're all doing well. We had a big snowstorm yesterday, if you saw my live show. Um, and it's melting quickly today, but we'll get it more tomorrow. I am working on a pretty cool concept that will come out on YouTube on Friday. And it's uh, it's about doing photos and how anyone can take photos right now from wherever you're at of someone else. Hmm. It's it's different. <laughs> it's hard to kind of wrap my brain around, but in the video Friday, you'll totally get it. And so make sure that you have a stand like this ready so you can do this kind of project with a friend of yours. Yeah. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is be editing that video. And then I have another kind of story video I'm working on that involves Bailey as the main character. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how exactly to film that and how to make that happen because she's not a trained actor. And then I have another project that involves building things much bigger than this. So I hope that comes to fruition because that would actually take me at least a week, but it would be really fun. Um, what else? I've got, I definitely have more. Oh, I have another video that I shot some stills for the other day. I've got a lot. So, you know, pause the subscribe button, you know, that kind of thing. And thanks so much for joining me. Remember my live show is every Monday morning or Monday at one uh, mountain time. And... Are we spying on friends, filming undercover? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that's not it. You'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it's going to be super fun. And I want to be able to do it with you all. Yeah. Panda, we could totally do this idea together. Oh, that would be fun. I can see your kitty. Yeah. I can't wait to show you the sample images I already took. I know I'm such a tease. Yeah. <laughs> thanks Diana oh my gosh all right I'm gonna call it because YouTube says I've been on 18 minutes now which is kind of long and so glad you all could join me today and as always I wish you many whoops purrs and t-r-e-a-t-s's